Mahai Mini number one podcast in the fucking universe, man. We got Joe Avi, right? That's how you yep. pronounce it? Yep. Hell yeah, Hell Joe Avi. Mahai. Yeah. What yep. is the Mahai Minute? Mahai Minute. Yeah, number one podcast in the universe. Hey, so so this interview legendary, man. This this is my first interview in Phoenix. Fucking to tell the people, man, how introduce yourself, like so, where you originally from, man. So I'm Joe Avi. I'm originally from Pomona, home okay. of sugar free. Yep. You know I fuck with. Hey, he's me. a goat for real. He's a goat. Yeah, you learn. People all don't you know need. about him. Learn all you need to know from Sugar Free, but shit, I'm from Pomona. Pomona shaped me. I I I end up getting raised out here. I guess you can say more like by the streets. I was just out here running around. Yeah, doing yeah. Doing my thing. I got into music early, but I love AZ. But yeah, I'm from LA originally. Okay, okay. Yeah, fuck him. Yeah, but AZ AZ is home to me now because. I don't know. They made weed legal in Cali, so it's not the same. If yeah, you know, yeah. You know. When did they make weed legal out here? Cause I know, that's pretty recent. It's not right? legal. Oh, it's not. Legal. Is it medically legal? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. medically. Legal. Okay, okay. How long has it been medically legal? Uh, I think for a minute now, though. But you had to have like it was harder to get your card. Oh, okay. But I think for a whole minute, like maybe like seven years. Hell yeah, hell yeah. It's been a little yeah. while, but you got to go through some things. Yeah. I mean, you already know we known for the gas in Colorado. It's been legal over there for a minute. For sure, for sure. <laughs> hell yeah, we got bro over here, rocking the Pacers jersey. Tell him what it is, man. But, but hey, so you, you said you're originally from Pomona. I went to Pomona High School out in Colorado, but that, that's besides the story. When did you move out to Phoenix? Well, I took a gun. To, well, I took a BB gun to school. I got yeah, expelled, yeah. and then my mom sent me out here. So I think okay. that was fifth grade. And then oh, I shit. came out here, and then I just was back and forth. Like, I'll do a year out here, yeah. a year out there. And then, like I said, fuck it, just... Well, nah, nah, really, the street that I'm from, I had a lot of older homies that went yeah, on yeah. shit. And I was at 15, 16 talking to another one of my cousins who was 15, 16. And we was chilling with a bunch of old heads. And we was just like, damn, I'm not trying to be in their position when I'm 21. No, for real. I wasn't trying to smoke with 16 years old. 16 year olds when I was 21. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I asked my dad if I could come out here again. He told me I just had to play football. So oh, okay. I was good at sports too because we'll if talk I ever about stayed that, with yeah. my dad, he fucking... He needed me to do sport. All right, that's all he wanted. He like he's a big football fan, so he just always made me join the team. So you were just playing football in high school and shit like that. Uh, did you play basketball, or baseball too, or just? I played fo- no, I just did football and wrestling. I oh, fuck, okay. Fuck little niggas up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I done got fucked up a couple times. Um, and then I'm small, but I was a little running back, and I oh, used okay. to I used to get down with that shit. Hell yeah. Um, I don't know. And then I even graduated early, but to me, college just wasn't the way, cause like. Honestly, I feel like I know the blueprint. I done been around some successful people. For sure. And then even then, like, niggas like Mike Sherm and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. It's just really publicity. It's not even that they're necessarily successful yet. So I feel like I done been around enough of the industry to know really what I need to do. For to sure, make, for To sure. make money. It's not about fame. Yeah, to yeah. To make money. No, it's period. just a blueprint. Period, though. Yeah. Hey. So uh, talk about how'd you how'd you get introduced into the music scene and shit like that, man. How'd you how'd you start rapping? Well, shit, this shit on me on YouTube at like eight, seven years old singing and shit. Oh, okay, so, so you've been doing yeah, this. Yeah, this no, ain't no no fake shit. Yeah. I didn't just I didn't. 2012 to 2014 didn't hit, and then I wanted to be a rapper. That shit's weak to me. No, I yeah. Have, everybody's a rapper. Like for example, I was a. I think I dropped the first song at my school. That's the school SD's from. Okay. And then. Funny thing about that, SD dropped the disc. Yeah, yeah. To me. Oh, he did? Yeah. <laughs> and then we caught the fame. Okay. We hugged it out. And then hey. we ended up making a song that went viral on Facebook, but my Facebook got deleted. It was like at over 30,000. So that shit went yeah, up yeah. for the city. I mean, I be with this nigga every day. We be in new places and niggas come up to well, me. So yeah, yeah. that shit got us going. But it was really cuz too when we dropped, when he dropped that disc and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. We uh we caught the fade, then that shit went viral. That's hard. The, the, the fight. You Hell know yeah, I mean? yeah. So then, so when did y'all catch the fade? Where? When and where? Shit. <laughs> well, right when he dropped it, I didn't say too much, like, and I didn't make no song back, cause I don't know. You don't want to give people clout type shit, or just? No, not that fucking. It was just like to me, that's the thing. To me, there's rappers that are just rappers, and then there's rappers that are really. Like about you know what I mean? Cause yeah, rap yeah. is rap, but street to street. But the thing sure. with SD is, he likes like he's just he's just a wild personality. He's grown a lot. He's a wild personality. But back then, 
he was just mixing them. So oh, okay. if he wanted to get at you through the rap, he's gonna bring it to the streets. But you know what I mean? That's kind of like, you wouldn't want to do that too much because the shit goes down then it's kind of like you told on yourself. Yeah, yeah. The shit goes down. Not for real. But SD pretty much, it was just like maybe like, maybe like a few weeks after we seen him at a party, some shit went down, whoop de whoop. And, and that was that. We just met up. We we made it happen, and that shit was gravy. So y'all, y'all, so y'all respected each other after that, then for sure, huh? Well, that's the thing. You'll have to talk to him about it. You have to talk to him about it himself it. for his own side of the story. You know what I mean? You have to talk to him about it himself. Hey, we go run that one too. Uh, sure. But fucking. But we was hobies before that. It was oh, just okay. kind of like the rap shit happened. I was getting a lot of buzz. And bro just fucking challenged me. And for whatever reason, like that's just on him. But fucking at the end of the day, I'm not the type of nigga like, oh why oh blah 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 why you why you don't like me, dog? So <coughs> yeah, yeah. It was just really well, that's what you wanna do, let's do it. We did it, we hugged it up, and then niggas was cool. I hit him up like and then we ended up doing some more work too because after we saw that one hit 30k, yeah, it was yeah. like, damn, them niggas is fucking. Because the thing is, after that too, they was fucking with us. They started saying Avi TV, Avi TV. That's my thing and that's his thing. Okay. And everybody just started saying that shit. And fucking niggas was just niggas always tell me they like when me and him do music together. Nah, so for real. Yeah. We started working together and then we did a whole album and then IMG dropped that album to okay. Empire. I don't know if you know Empire. Empire, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I've heard and shit. Yeah, yeah. So. They dropped that shit for me, and I got SD on that album with me, and fucking right now it's down because they dropped it for me, but now I'm on my own tip, on oh, okay. my own shit, so I'm going to redrop it type shit. Why, why'd you decide to get on your own shit, man? Just just because my boy was doing me a favor, so when you do, when you do favors, I feel like in this industry, you can't expect a lot. Back. No, no, you can't. You got to just do it out of love, for real. Well, I'm saying he was doing me a favor. On like releasing my music, but I never, you know, what I mean, I never got to see the the backside of it, yeah, the business yeah. side. Oh, okay. But it's because he's doing it for me, you know. What yeah, I mean? yeah, he's yeah. He's busy with his shit, shooting for shoots for big niggas, Blueface, Mozzie. Okay, niggas. so y'all really tap. You really are from LA for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking like that Almighty Suspect. I don't work. I don't work. Yeah, yeah. How how do how do all these features come together? You said the SOB. IMG. IMG man. IMG got right me there. all the features. That's why I never um, say anything bad about my boy RG. Okay. Like it, it's just, hey, you keep busy. it presidential. He's just he's just busy, so I just I had to realize. At the same time, though, I'm my own man. He has a daughter, and I had to realize like if I want that shit to go up, I need to do it all in house. And shout out to um, RP the Nipsey Hustle. Just doing shit the your show, own yeah. way is really the way to go. Cause at the end of the day. I don't know. The difference between me and a lot of rappers out here, for example, I feel like is a lot of niggas have day jobs. I fucking, I don't know. I you get really? Out, I get it out the, out the earth. I just make it happen. So, so you really grinding, man? Yeah. So to me, if you own, oh, yeah, we got windy as hell. So I just feel like. If you own your shit, that's really the way to go because no one can tell you nothing. You don't have to wait on no deadlines. You don't have to fucking, hey, bro, do you got my shit? Hey, bro, you don't have to ask nobody shit. You just fucking yeah, talk yeah. to yourself. And that's what I like. Or you put some niggas on. You hire some niggas. For sure, like, for sure. It needs to be in your ballpark. Your ball can't be in other niggas. Hell course, yeah. I feel like. Hey, I, I'm, I'm not from here, bro. I'm from Denver. I was expecting to be all hot. What the fuck is going on out here, bro? It's December, bro. It's December. It's cold. True, it is. It is December. Hey, this is this is cold for December in Arizona, bro. But hey. It's good though. It don't ever feel like this though, bro. It ain't never like this. It's always hot, like you expected. Yeah, last time I came out here last winter, it was hot it's as cold. fuck. But hey, so so what part of Phoenix you from, bro? I'm from uh, I'm from South Phoenix. I grew up right there on uh. 7th Ave, anybody from Phoenix is going to know 7th Ave and Central. Okay. That's where, that's where I came out here and I grew up at. Um, I moved around a little bit, but pretty much just centrally located in South Phoenix, in the real South Phoenix. <laughs> okay, so I, like I said, I ain't been down here before, so I know we got hoods in Denver for sure and people be sleeping, they don't really know about it. Y'all got hoods down here? Like, what's, what's going on down here? Yeah, we got hoods, but I just feel like... 
I don't know them niggas like that, so how can I really speak on that? I'm not going to give you an okay. opinion. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. But opinion, I ain't been in the hood. So it's like, I'm not. I'm just not going to speak on it. There's hoods out here, but that's, when niggas get to saying this hood's about that and this hood's about that, like, why are you speaking for it? And if anything, I, I feel, a lot you, of I feel you trying a, to keep it real. A lot of people make opinions when they ain't even beef with that person or blah, blah, blah. A lot of people call me a pussy. They ain't never even been in front of my face. So it's like, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to give opinions about it. But there's hoods out here. In, in, in central Phoenix, it's a lot of activity. You have a lot of poverty. So yeah, yeah. you know what comes with that. No, you know for sure, I mean? for sure. Yeah. For sure, for sure. So what you got coming out, man? Like you got any tapes, singles, projects, shows? I wish I could tell you the blueprint, but but nah. I stay dropping shit. I get in the booth like every now and then, but right now I'm just working on game. I got all my music, uh, I mean all my camera equipment settled, and I'm just trying to shoot for everybody. So. Okay, okay. Everybody gonna know me by the end of next year. I got done shot for everybody, but fuck yeah. So you you trying to do like music videos and shit, interviews? Like what what are you trying to do as far as the videography stuff goes? I do everything, bro. I even got one of my little homies. He does that shit, and I want to do. I want to pretty much. I got little homies and shit that I feel like have a lot of potential, and I'm just using all this money to put it into equipment where I know it could benefit me later down the line. Okay, for sure. Shoot interviews. If this homie shoot interviews. If this homie does graphic design, I'm buying all that shit so all my niggas could do it. Cause you know minimum wage is bullshit. And I don't believe in that shit. Like, Not for real. You gonna barely. Tell him. You gonna barely make ends meet doing the bullshit ass jobs, so why not give these niggas something where if they apply themselves, they can make a check every hey, day. But hey. they gotta wake up and put so you, at least 18 hours in, you know what I mean? So you really trying to speak on some positive inspirational shit, like business type shit for the people. It doesn't you know? need to be positive. It, it's just really like you can wake up and grind for a fucking I know how to make I know how to make a thousand dollars on an iPhone and all I gotta do is sit on my phone all day, but you gotta sit no, on dead phone. ass though. Yeah, you no, gotta you sit for on real. that bitch. So like it's just I'm trying to show niggas like ways to get money without having cause look at I mean look at his tats. Look at look at my shit like Yeah, yeah, what do some of these tats mean, bro? I was I was noticing that I'm about XXL. Fuck it, show me that Damn. Show me that that XXL one, higher. man. That one's crazy. They're not always gonna hire us, you know. I does that rap for real. real. I don't really like what the XXL been releasing, but but I still fuck with them though. Oh, that's what that means. Yeah, for the rap. Okay, okay, okay. But, but see, it's really just to give niggas another way, cause I feel like a lot of niggas be trapped, and then that's how they end up. Here, yeah, let's let me scoot in a little bit, so I'm not getting wet on this. So who uh who else in in uh, Phoenix? I almost said Atlanta. Hold up. Atlanta, I'm in Atlanta. I'm tripping. Who's, I said, who, who else in Phoenix should we be on the lookout for as far as rappers and shit? Who, like, who else should we be tuning into since we, we just tapping in out here? One dude you got fuck with right off the bat is fucking Desert Baby. Just look up the Desert Baby. I'm pretty sure you probably already seen of them. Probably. If you haven't, then I don't know. You ain't look at them hashtags or something like that. But fucking Desert Baby. Uh, you already you already saw SD. For sure. SD probably to me got the most potential. So he, like, he reminds my boy Dodie one. Yeah. Fiji. Dodie actually be out here too. Doing the interview. But fucking uh, SD. I feel like SD got the most potential, but he don't got the the horse behind him. Okay. So whatever he has to do to make sure that works. Once he gets a horse behind him, I feel like I feel like that nigga's ready to be back. Type 360 type shit, like he's ready to go. Fucking, I fuck with uh, well, not that I fuck with him, he don't fuck with some big people too. Uh, Slim Billions, okay. Um, who else? Shit, <laughs> it's windy as fuck. Nah, you good, bro? Uh, you can fuck with my boy Eleven Sun. It's all organic. Eleven son, uh, yeah. he got creative shit. I don't think nobody out here, out here has music videos like him. He yeah, paints yeah. pictures. You got you got to check him out. He nobody's fucking him with his visual mind state. And then fucking you can fuck with my boy Cedric, but that's gonna be shit. I'm gonna show him yeah, niggas yeah. like so. I'm gonna put it in the face. Other than that, I feel like 
the only nigga working the hardest out here right now that you probably probably should have did your first interview with deserves it, Desmond. Okay. That nigga drops I'll have to consistent. tap in with him then. Yeah, he drops he drops consistently, consistently, and he has fucking uh I think he just dropped his 40th music video from 2017. So he's working there. Yeah, he has more he has mixtapes. And he just got out of the pen. That nigga's putting in work. I fuck with that nigga. Hey, so, so I'm I'm kind of comparing Denver and Phoenix a little bit. I'm up in Denver. We're always talking about how we're we're up next type shit. Is y'all be saying that same shit out here in Phoenix too? Like, since y'all, uh, I like, don't say that shit because the thing is, you need a platform. You sure. Need a, you need a platform. Y'all got to, like who? Who's the Maha Minute out here? Like who? What media platform y'all got going on here? Who do I need to tap in with? I don't know. For real? I don't know. Oh shit! Um, the they're, only, they're probably the out only here, thing, but the only thing where I can't lie to you is I know there's this thing OG Pats TV, but yeah. I don't know if that's AZ. I seen Desert Baby on it, and that's how I saw about it. And they followed me. I followed them back, but nothing okay. was said. And I don't really sit there and really look at everybody's shit. Like when you follow me, yeah. I thought it was a regular. I thought it was low key a fake account. Oh, for real? Until, <laughs> yeah, until I saw you, um, just based off of it saying Mile High Minute, I yeah. thought it was a fake account. And, uh, but then I clicked it, and then I saw SD, so I was like, oh, it must be a platform. Let me check it out. I got to scrolling. I saw that shit with Sean Conn. I saw a bunch of shit. I was like, that's right. That's Hell it. yeah, appreciate that. That Sean real. Conn shit is legendary. Hey, appreciate I that. That's that love. Too. I was trying to get my interview in L.A. Not for real. Hey. Was only, the only one in 700. I was like, make it happen. Damn, when was that? Fucking, it was a, like maybe last year sometime. But Damn, that price year, done went up then for sure. <laughs> I don't know, though, because usually when they tell you one price, if it's still in their messages, they'll fuck with you. True. Usually they might fuck with you. Yeah, right. usually because like for example, back then it might have been around the time when I got like a Mike Shern feature and I get that nigga like six hundred. I done put a whole bunch of money in. That yeah, way. yeah. Talk about that. I seen the sob feature like. Fuck it. And the uh, almighty suspect. Man. Bro, I was thinking about it the other day because a lot of niggas like to flex Here. and shit, but a lot of niggas like to flex. But like I don't know. In my music so far, I had to, I don't know. You gotta go look at all them features and ask them niggas for their price and count it up. Cause like, sure. I done work with some crazy dudes. The biggest dude I probably paid the, the lowest amount for is MBN now. I don't know if you heard of him. No, honestly, I'm gonna have to tap in. Yeah, you have to, you get millions, bro. So, fucking, he was probably the biggest dude I worked with for the lowest, too. Show a hell of love. And, but over the last, like, year that had passed, man, I dropped, I dropped too much money on features. And I feel like, I, honestly, I feel like smart. I fucked up though, huh? You gotta invest smart. Yeah, well, it's all smart because I can still use it, but I fucked up for anybody that's watching. Buy the beats and make sure you own everything hey, so that way once down, you get honestly, that. Honestly, this view right here should probably be clean. My bad. What's up? I just now thought about this. It's, it's cold, cold as fuck. I'm like, I feel like I'm in Colorado right now, bro. <laughs> Not for real. Not for real. Uh, Alright. You just scoot a little more that way. Like that. That's perfect right there. So. Yeah. So we were talking about, let's get back on track. People out here. Like we need you. Y'all need a platform out here. For real. Like y'all oh, need a platform. For yeah, your, your original question. I feel like. I don't know. I don't know nothing about Denver, bro. I ain't heard nobody from Denver. This is the first time I'm here of Denver, so okay. I saw a girl talking on one of your clips about Denver, and she said, like, she's listening to Ariana Grande, and that's what she's comparing it to. That's cool yeah. when she said that, like, okay, you're supposed to shoot for high standards. Yeah, yeah. But I just doubt her shit's getting mixed like Ariana Grande's. I don't know her, though. I could no, be wrong. No. Shout out Kayla Ray, bro. She's putting her name's on. Kayla Ray? Bro, yeah, she, she was cute. Yeah, she yeah, was yeah, cute. yeah. She, she's putting on for real right now, like... She uh, she be on the radio and she her songs do 100k plays. So I see, I see what she's saying. Like she's trying to like get up to that level. You know what I'm saying? Like no, yeah. she's not there yet though for sure. I feel you. But like yeah, that's just like you know but the I high standards. Though, thing. We can't be comparing each other to Denver, and I'm sure y'all feel the same way out here because y'all trying to blow. Even though like I don't know, I don't feel that way because until there's a 
Like, yo, you said you heard of Thizzler. Shout out KG Buckman, everybody on Thizzler. Fucking, you say you fuck with, uh, you fuck with Thizzler. Thizzler's been making a lot of the rappers pop out of the fucking bay. If a lot okay. of those artists didn't have Thizzler, they wouldn't be, none of them, a lot of them ain't on Royal Star, and they wouldn't have no views to book shows and shit. Thizzler is making artists, so like, okay. what's the platform? So let's say Mile High Minute next year fucking blows. Let's say that Sean Conn shit, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You get an artist and it goes up. That's all it could take because no, then the real. power's in your hand. You start creating artists out of the city, and that's what Sean Conn did, and that's what fucking Thizzler does, and no, that's, that's what exactly Royal what I'm does. doing, bro. I'm yeah. literally posting these artists that are about to blow, bro, in Colorado. That no one's covered yet, bro. Yeah, believe it. Yeah. And that's all it takes, so... I don't really feel like if rappers are saying that, I don't agree with them. I don't believe that shit. It's, you want to see the it's, work, it's the action. Nah, you can have all the work. It's the platform that's going to make it happen unless you fucking really get out there or you hey. go to the main hubs. Because you used Whoa. to have to go to the main hubs around like before the platforms were just in Denver yeah, yeah. and AZ. You had to go to LA, New York. For sure, for sure. You were supposed to do that. That's why I went back home to do my music shit, but like. So I don't believe any rappers that say Denver's next. If you're telling me Denver's next, then that's a different art, uh, different conversation because you're the one controlling and you creating true, the, true, the true. vibes. Hey, I appreciate it. And that. I believe it because there's no one else out here I know like that. So if you say Denver's on before Phoenix, I'll take your word. Uh, hey, it. I ain't even saying it's on before Phoenix. I'm just saying we're up next. That's that's all I'm saying. Like I I believe y'all could be up next too. That's why I'm trying to tap in with you. I don't. You know what I'm saying? No? No. Nah. Well, what's like you need niggas doing this? You need a platform. Who's like the biggest like who's doing the most numbers out here? Like really. Obviously like that futuristic full blue or whatever. Yeah. But like besides him, like who SD has that nigga for a feature, that nigga said I'm not doing features, bro. That food's weird, but fuck it. Yeah, ask him. That shit's funny. That's is that weird. a party? That is Why is that nigga even at the same party as is? You can't do no feature. But that's fucking, weird. That's weird, huh? That's I don't fuck with futuristic like that, but fucking and then on the numbers thing, I can't tell you who's pulling the most numbers because I don't know if their numbers are real. You could buy numbers, so I can't tell you. Who, that's why I was saying the only nigga, like, I can't even tell you if Desert Baby numbers are real, but some of his shit are up there. He does. I think he has a song with 100K on a music video. Okay. He has some shit at 50K on a music video. I don't know how to tell if it's real, but I, all I know is if it's real or not, he drops a video damn near every week and a three songs a week so yeah, like yeah. if it's real or not you can't really argue with it because it's like boom another one boom another one yeah but for the rest of the artists too i can't say what's real because also too that's what i was saying a lot of these rappers came up out of high school and then it's like or like late high school for us and it was like everybody just started following the trend so them niggas are trying to be cool so they'll do that weird shit they'll yeah yeah pay for shit and like fake shit so no like, i feel you gotta invest in talk about that because obviously you investing in the features that's investing in organic growth people don't understand that people oh so it. you like you like numbers like one of my son the, my song with mike sherman is at like fifty thousand on youtube right now it's I, just a song. i saw that i saw that oh how, you saw that how did that come together like? just my manager fucking oh well i'm in one of his music videos out in over there in antioch where that nigga's from and fucking it's called uh fago it's with RG and fucking Mike Sherm and um, Is he from Cali or what? Yeah, he's from uh, Well, he's from the Bay Area Oh, okay So fucking We was out there We shot a music video For my uh, for my manager And then And then I just uh, Just made it happen I think I called him I was at the barbershop I was like, yo, bro I need a feature He yeah, said yeah. Alright, like blah, blah, blah He gave me his name and shit Hopefully this will get the views up But his real name is Michael Sherman Okay uh, what is it called? He just sent, told me send the bread. I yeah, said yeah. it, and then surprisingly, he only took two days. Oh, that's real. That's real for sure. What about the Almighty <laughs> Suspect? I really fuck with bro. He be going hard. Ah, <laughs> damn. <laughs> I fuck with Almighty, but <laughs> I fuck with Almighty. But how that one came about was uh, just my management. My management, the niggas I was fucking with, I think he just made a phone call, or text him. Yeah, yeah. Text him for me, because that's his nigga. Text him, straight like that. Fucking, just straight like that. That's how it happens, because ne that nigga RG, you should tap into RG. That yeah, nigga yeah. probably fuck with you. So, what's the first song people should look at when they look you up? There's so many, bro. Fucking, um, I just, guess check that shit out. Mike Shurn keep running the numbers up. Yeah, yeah. But I don't work with Benny. I don't work with... Hella different, I feel like, heavy hitters. There's some niggas I'm supposed to work with. 
Uh, if you like Almighty Suspect, do you know who Frosty the Snowman is? That sounds familiar, but I don't think I'm tapped in though. Well, he started all that shit, like... He's the one who got on and put his best friend Almighty Suspect on type shit. Okay. So, you need to look up Frosty, that nigga. That's who I really want to work with too, and I fucking... I want to I wanna do some crazy shit. Uh, another song y'all can check out is that James Too Cold is. Fuck that nigga. That's all, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah. But Where can they find you out on like social media shit? Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all that. Shit, J-O-A-B-Y underscore. And then on YouTube, Joe Abby. Fucking. Uh, that's pretty much it. I be on Instagram mainly. That's all I be on. Fucking. I be on YouTube more than any other social media. I facts, feel like. Facts, huh? So like. I drop shit consistently. I'm just trying to build up. I'm just trying to build up a lot of fucking work so that way when when the when the little 15 seconds of fame does come, it, it, they have shit. Once they say they like me, they have shit to keep going back, and then they can yeah. kind of see the whole story because it goes that far back when I started. I have shit on there from when I first started, so they'll get to know me real fast. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Shit, mom. What is? One of the hardest things you dealt with growing up, that like you had to overcome in this like music shit, or in general with the whether it be the video shit, whether it be the rap shit, like it's still the same problem I had since. Well, no, it just got harder because I left the crib. I left the crib early. I was getting kicked out, and then fucking once I graduated, I just moved to. I just fucking I started making some good bread, but I moved out quick. So, but then once I lost that job, it was just really. Uh, staying afloat, but without no like pops or mom to be able to look out for me, it's just staying you. afloat all by myself. I feel but you. shit, I, God be sending blessings, so like I be making it happen. But it really, it's just every day I gotta. Pretty much that's the hardest part. Every day I gotta take a risk. So yeah, like, yeah. literally every day I gotta take a risk to make sure. I mean, I might get a week off in the month if I do real good, but like other than that, I gotta take risks to make sure I'm cool. So that's the hardest problem, and that's just something that, I don't know, it could have probably been avoided if I would have went to school, but at the same time, if I would have went to school, I feel like I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be making the music I was supposed to make coming from my background. I feel you, yeah, yeah. I feel like I could go back okay. to school. I did, I so did you, you end up going to school you don't fuck with that back. cap rap shit, huh? you, know, you don't fuck with that? I will fuck with it, but so many niggas do it. True. <laughs> so many really? niggas do it. So it's like... What could you? Cause so many niggas lie now. They just get on social media and lie, and it's crazy. It's important to speak your truth. Cause how many niggas did everybody know in high school that were just straight losers? It's like everybody's a fucking cool ass rapper now. Cause you get to you get to create your image. That's why I fuck with SD. Cause even though like whatever blah blah blah, I know SD and he's always been the same. Oh yeah, so he really loves his rap shit. Um, yeah. Thank you. SD fucks with that rap shit heavy, but I think his first dream was to hoop. But you know, I shit happens, that, yeah. and then he picked up that rap full fledged and just hit it full force. I fuck with his shit. I really like when he raps uh, fast. Yeah, I'm about to tap in, with bro. What's one piece of advice you have for all the entrepreneurs out there, all the business people out there making this shit happen? Just take the time to do it yourself, really. You just gotta wake up every day and just do it. Fucking learn how to do it. Or get some people around you that can help you, and it'll happen. Cause I mean, every everything that started off, niggas just started it, bro. Every little business or blah blah blah, it wasn't what it is today. It's yeah. just they literally started it and they didn't give up. And then you gotta go. Another thing is too though, know the market though. If you live a place where certain shit isn't popular or yeah. certain shit doesn't sell, you could look up shit. You could do research. If Facts. you're around a place that Facts. you know a lot of people don't do this thing, don't fucking go into that business. If you're in a place where you know all this shit pops and you kind of like it, start researching what it takes to run it. You don't got to go, you know what I mean? If you like yeah, clubs, yeah. you don't got to go to the club every weekend. You could try to own a club. Sure, you could be sure. in the club whenever you want, making money. So, like, it's just all you got to do is do some research and fucking tackle that shit. Oh, yeah. Bro. That's all it takes. Hey, man. I appreciate you, bro. This this interview is gonna be legendary. It's my first interview out here. My first. I appreciate interview. it. Shout out AZ and LA. Oh uh, yeah. Twenty twenty. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out for the channel one time, man. Uh, to, turn who, to who you with, man? Maha Minute. This J O A B Y, and we fucking with Maha Minute. Uh, fuck with. You.
Hey, appreciate that, man. Hey, Maha Minute, number one podcast in the universe. Make sure y'all comment down below who you want to see next on the Maha Minute. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button to stay notified when all of the latest news drop. Maha Minute, number one podcast in the universe. We out. Hey.